it's me, Hannah. Welcome to part two of Hannah's Cosplay Fontent. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created hooves to wrap up my fawn legs project and take you along as I do my first fawn cosplay using these goat legs. In my last video, I left a little Easter egg, a little hint about what character I'm going to portray this upcoming weekend. And if you guessed Mr. Tumnus from Chronicles of Narnia, you would be correct. Shout out to Carla Elizabeth, who was the first to correctly guess Mr. Tumnus. Thanks for playing along. So. For the hooves themselves, I am going to use a resin pour method, which means I have to start by sculpting the hoof form using air dry clay. All right, so now I have to let the air dry clay air dry, which will probably take a couple of days and I might even give it an extra few days just to make sure that on some chemical level there won't be any interference with the silicone mold that I will pour around it. So I am going to turn my attention to pouring the Silicone molds for the resin hooves. Where did I put this? Seriously, where did I put that? Oh, hooves. Give me hoof. Oh, this is where we landed on the hoof. I think it's going to be almost perfect. Um, and I think I'll, if I can make the silicone mold last for two <laughs> resin pours, then I think it will work for both hooves in that I can fit both shoes on the hoof and like have a sturdy enough, sturdy enough um, base. I was very specific about how wide I made the bottom of these hooves so that I would have as much extra stability as possible. <sighs> We're just gonna have to see how it works out. I prepped myself a little mold box. Um, I have, release spray that I'm going to put over top of the hoof and then pour the silicone mold. This is the first time I'm trying anything like this, so fingers crossed. I don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> Shaken well before use. It should be evenly, modestly applied. Maybe I'll put some cling wrap in here. I'm gonna do that. I think that's smart. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Is there safety instructions? Are you enjoying watching me read the instructions? Is this the content you came here for? Okay, stir part A and part B thoroughly before dispensing. After dispensing equal parts of A and B into mixing container, mix thoroughly for three minutes, making sure that you scrape the sides and bottom of the mixing container several times. Kind of concerned that doing it in like multiple parts like this might not be advised, but I don't, I don't have a bigger container, so. God, I hope this works. Okay, I'm going to quickly do that all over again, maybe even two at a time. Let's do two at a time.
So I was kind of concerned about this air dry clay and how it might react with the uh, silicone mold. So I let it dry for almost a full week. So it's, it's as dry as it is going to be. I also bought the release spray that I think could make a difference. Again, I don't need this to be perfect, but I, it's just gonna be less work if it is perfect. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay, now I have to let it cure for at least six hours. It will probably be days though, because I really want this to set. I'm not gonna rush this. Fingers crossed. Okay, it's been over 24 hours, so please let this work. Okay. So far, so good. So obviously all of that extra release spray that kind of kept the form from fully curing, just like in like a teeny tiny layer, it got really goopy and I'm gonna have to rinse this off pretty good. But oh my God, are you kidding me? It's so good. Cut the heels off these things. <laughs> Thank you. 
So it has come to my attention that I don't actually own a red scarf, which is kind of a staple accessory for any Mr. Tumnus portrayal. So I picked up some red yarn from my local craft store. I tried to match color and texture as best I could. I don't know how to knit, at least not as well as I know how to crochet. I'm actually going to build it um, from the long side of the scarf up to a certain width rather than, you know, start at one end of the scarf and build my way up to the other. I don't have a good close up of the scarf, but I think with a double crochet, building it up in that way, I can achieve that look or at least something pretty similar. With three days to go, we're definitely approaching the point where good enough is good enough. And I don't know, I've been, I've been working hard on these projects. So cozying up with a small glass of wine and a good crochet project, sounds like a nice evening. Let's get that time lapse going, huh? morning. I like didn't sleep last night because I was too excited. <laughs> Let's get ready to do Mr. Tumnus. I'm just gonna do light makeup. We're gonna be outside and it's gonna be very warm. So any makeup I put on will probably just melt off. <laughs> I'm obviously going for like more of a mask look. Um, big bushy eyebrows. <laughs> trying to give myself some like more animal-like features. Not bad. Okay, let's do the fun part. <laughs> Sexy goat man, I think, is actually a thing, so. It's somebody's cup of tea. <laughs> I think that's as good as that's gonna be. That's gonna be. You did it.
This weekend was such a blast. If you had as much fun as I did, it would mean the world to me if you would like and subscribe. And if you do, I will see you again in two weeks for my next video. Take care.